Welcome back everybody to the channel. Right in this episode we will be looking at uh, replacing front brake pads on the KTM 990 and difficulty level. Another day, another video. Frank's way, welcome back everybody. Let's quickly have a look. Um, on the last video we did the rear brake pads on the KTM 990. Very simplistic, have a look at the video, it's easy to remove. Now you'll notice on this one, I have already removed the uh, front fender. I'm busy spraying, painting it black, uh, originally white. And definitely we'll get a front tire. Tools needed for this. Socket with a number 10. A non-KTM tool, normal screwdriver. I always have a little torch with me at hand, um, and that's all you need. So what I've done is removing the front fender. It's easy. You just take it out on the back, uh, piping it. I'm, I'm plumbing it on the uh, fender. Just it's loose, just to take it off. Then you've got one bolt at the back, a number ten socket. One on the side of the shock, two on the front. Same on the other side. Two on the front, one on the side, one at the back. Okay, let's get to the caliper quickly. Number 10, um, and also make sure when you remove the bolts and re-tighten them, take Loctite, and you can use OEM torque specifications, it's really up to you, definitely prefer that you use Loctite, and uh, let's have a look at the bolts, same equal length, doesn't matter where they go in, so now the two bolts are loose, so the only thing we do, we do now is to actually just slide it back gently and it's off right, so if we have a look here we have two brake pads and we have one pin I'll just show it to you yeah there we go that one pin there so what I usually do is I take my non KTM tool and I take my old brake pads and I wiggle it in and I squish open and I reset the two pods so just work it gently, push it backwards, and you'll see the pod move in like that. Same on the other side, old brake pads, twist the uh, screwdriver and it moves the two pods backward. So with that being done, you remove the pin, take out the pin on the, on the side, um, insert your new brake pads, you'll see at the back it just slots in, Put your pin in, put your circlip back, done, sorted. Now let's get them back. Um, usually what will tend to give you a hassle is at the bottom on this edge that it has here where it seeds into the caliper, it'll come out. It'll give you a bit of a hard time. But let's see how we deal with this one. Make sure you get all your cables out of the way. It's straightforward. Don't overforce anything. Take your time. If you're, if you're not comfortable with replacing it immediately, putting it back, take a break, get up. Um, drink a cup of coffee or something, come back, settle your mind, and then re-tighten everything up again. Um, important, put Loctite in. In a nutshell, that is, I mean, it's straightforward. Um, front brake pads, done. So when you're done with this job, make sure that you remember to uh, pull your front handbrake so that your pods again seat. Um, that's it. It's really straightforward. So, fender off, two bolts, caliper off, pin out, done. Replace. Take time. It's not a lot of effort. It's not rocket science. It's quick and easy. Right, lucky man. Looking forward for next video. Um, I'm thinking of doing a video in the week after for the lockdown rebuilt XR500 that I did. I've got a bunch of pictures and I'll talk you through it. 
and then uh, I did a rebuild and respray on a Africa twin came out beautiful I'll do that video the week after and I still need to do the timing chain tensioner but I think I'll do that now and see how it goes and see which video I upload first I don't know yet but after this video now when we're done I'm going to disassemble the KTM well maybe Brian wants to go and ride the weekend I don't know I'll just find out first so anyway Laka see you on the next video soon um, like and subscribe um, I see I'm getting a lot of feedback and people are enjoying the videos cheers all bye bye